person, the next person also comes off Facebook here. Uh, this is Jonathan Briones. Um, <clears throat> they they asked, do you think we'll ever see a Legend of Zelda game with technology uh, similar to Xenoblade? Kind of like a futuristic world. That's definitely an interesting question. I mean, I've played uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X, and I could definitely... I hate you. <laughs> I, I want to play it so bad. I could definitely see um, a Zelda game taking place in that world because it's not really technology centered. There's there's a hub where there's a lot of technology used, but out in the open world, it's a lot of you know adventuring old style. I mean, some of the weapons are technology based, but some of it's like abilities or magic or whatever too. Um, so I, I could definitely see Nintendo doing that. I mean, I don't think they'll do it with Zelda U, because as we've seen, it's all, like, forests and mountains, and maybe Zelda NX, who knows? Um, Personally, I haven't played uh, any of the Xenoblade mm -hmm. uh, games or anything like that, but, I, Darren, is any of, are any of the, um, like, pieces of technology powered by mana in that game, or similar to, like, Final Fantasy? Uh, I, I, I don't believe so. I, it's been a while since I've played, but I do not believe so. Okay. Okay. Well, I was going to say if, if it was, I could see Zelda kind of going that route only because of like the, almost like the time shift stones, um, or, you, you know, it's all based off of some kind of energy. Yeah. I could see uh, that. In a way. Yeah. So like going yeah. that route technology wise, instead of being super advanced, um, well, there's things we got to remember too. Um, first off, one of the original ideas for the series involved going to a futuristic world. Um, you know, that was in the very first Zelda game. It got scrapped because the NES couldn't handle it. Mm -hmm. um, and apparently, I, I I need to double check the source on this. This comes from a YouTube video. Um, they wanted to do that thing again with Ocarina of Time. You know, when you, you travel to become an adult, they wanted to actually revisit the traveling to a futuristic world concept because you know the n64 can handle it and uh they that got shot down by upper management or something like that um well, they kind of they the did that with that. skyward sword though because um, i mean it was weird because in a way going back to the past it, 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 yeah yeah skyward sword was more so like way in the past distant past we had all this tech um you see some remains of it but you're not gonna you know you're not gonna see the full breath of it or something like that yeah because when you use um, the time shift stones, you know, you'd go back and you'd see, like, the mm -hmm. robots mm -hmm. in the electronic-powered, like, mine carts or whatever. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's kind of a, an interesting point. Um, you know, th they do already have some uh, modern and futuristic technology going on. Um, <laughs> I mean, if Train. You at, <laughs> if, if, even if you look at just the Zelda U footage, um, you know, the very first thing we see... Um, outside of the world and uh, Link being on, you know, who we presume to be Epona, um, you, you know, you got that giant robot thing, um, monster thing with the shoots laser beams. Um, obviously, laser beams aren't new to the series. Uh, and then, you know, you see Link kind of pull out like a power arrow that has a, a button that makes a magical blade appear and he shoots it. You know, we've seen a spell book thing um, or whatever book he had on his hip in the last footage. Um, that looked like it might have had a glow to it that was resembled um, kind of like the uh, the arrow and, and the boss and the enemy that we saw. So it, it's kind of like technology is already in the series. So if you're just kind of talking about like a technology standpoint, um, futuristic types of technology is already in the series. Um, it just doesn't oversaturate the series. Like there isn't anything that takes place in a world that is almost exclusively, um, you know, uh, how, how to put it? Oh, exclusively futuristic, like 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 a Xenoblade. Like you're not going to walk into a, a town, at least as far as we've done so far, um, like New Las Vegas in Xenoblade Chronicles X. Um, that kind of town is probably never going to exist in a Zelda game. I, I do agree um, with that. Yeah. So like, yeah. if that's what you're looking at, because like like I haven't played uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X yet. I, I plan to buy it. Um, I'm probably going to play a lot of it over the summer. I might even do some live streams of it. But it, it's it, it, to me, from all the footage I've seen, it's a lot of you have the new Las Vegas, you have your tech and your mechs and all this stuff, and then the world itself still seems almost a little, you know, pretty raw. Um, 
because from what I understand the story base is like this is like the last of humanity and they're trying to reestablish themselves in a new world or something like that um, Darren could probably correct me if I'm wrong because he's actually played it no that, that's um, but that pretty was the impression accurate. I got yeah that was the impression I got so um, so in a sense you could see something like Xenoblade where like there's a lot of technology and the world is still pretty raw um, because you know they're new there but in Zelda um, everything kind of takes place, you know, in the same realm. I mean, you have parallel worlds where anything is possible, but in general, most of the adventures take place in Hyrule or a land adjacent to Hyrule. And um, it's it's if there's a large uh, technological boom, it's probably still not going to be as raw of a world because that technology would have been born in that same world. Um, so it, it's definitely possible that they could do it because it is an idea they've had and. Um, A.G. Anomu has been slowly implementing technology into the series more and more. Um, but to get to the level of Xenoblade, I, I don't I don't think they're ever going to hit, hit that fully futuristic world. Um, I think the closest we can get is if they ever decide to visit the pre-Skyward Sword world where all that technology existed. Um, and, you know, we call it futuristic. For Zelda, that would actually be ancient. Um, ancient times. So it's kind of... It's kind of interesting how Zelda kind of flips the script. Like, almost if you want to see this technology, you got to go back in time, not forward. Um, but uh, yeah, that I don't know. That's just that's really all I have to say on that. I I, I don't I haven't played um, the Xenoblade Chronicles X enough, and it's been forever since I played Xenoblade Chronicles. So so yeah. Um, I, anyone else have anything to add? Nope. I nope. think yeah, you pretty okay. much summed it up. Yeah. Yep, yep. So I, I hope that answers answers your question at least on what this panel here feels. Um, possible, not likely. Um, we'll see some things because we already do. 